The day of fun at the park used to take its toll on Shirley Davis. No matter how much rest she got, she just couldn't understand why her energy level would drop like riding on a slide. I had heavy bleeding during my menstrual cycle and um, frequent urination, um, heavy bloating, um, fatigue. It wasn't until Shirley was checked out by doctors at community medical centers they found she was suffering from fibroids, benign non-cancerous tumors in the uterus, which often cause abdominal pain and bleeding. Fibroids are fairly common. They're seen in about one in four women. Uh, they're much more common in African Americans, where it's one in two women will have fibroids. Dr. Chandra Venegopal is an interventional radiologist, a specialized trained physician who uses x-ray imaging to treat patients with fibroids. He uses a well-developed technique called embolization, a minimal invasive procedure that blocks the fibroids' blood supply, causing them to shrink in a matter of months. Fibroid embolization involves putting catheters or tubes into these arteries as close to the fibroid as possible and then injecting these particles in there. Here's a small opening in the skin. Here's the catheter going to the blood supply of the fibroid on the left side. And then once that side's done, then we move it and bring it to the right side and put material there to plug up the blood supply to the fibroids on that side. Studies show the majority of women who have had the procedure experience significant or total relief of heavy bleeding, pain, and other symptoms from fibroids. The entire procedure takes about an hour to an hour and a half and is done through an incision about the size of a ballpoint pen. Because this procedure is done with conscious sedation, there's not a lot of risk due to having major surgery where you use general anesthesia. Blood loss in this procedure is less than two drops of blood. With this procedure, uh, I was in the hospital for just a little over 24 hours, and I was at a wedding two days later after I had it done with no, I didn't have any side effects afterwards at all. Want to go see the decks? Yeah. Okay, let's go see Now the Shirley is enjoying life pain-free, and because fibroid embolization is now considered a mainstream procedure, it's covered by most major insurance companies. And in most cases, women are able to return to light activity within a few days, and usually back to work within seven to ten days unlike a total hysterectomy, which could take months to recover.